influenced by their government were in fact financed by the U.S. government and influenced by its agenda. Social media platforms like Twitter have aided uprisings in several countries, and in 2011, Hillary Clinton admitted the U.S. helped people in oppressive Internet environments get around filters. There's no telling how many of these uprisings have been financed and influenced by the U.S. government. But while the U.S. government admits that social media is a powerful tool in taking down regimes overseas, it wouldn't like to see technology having that same effect here in America. That's why every year we're seeing legislation like SOPA, CISPA, and PIPA, as well as the executive order signed by Obama that gives him the authority to shut down the Internet. Instruments to fight the enemy abroad are now being used as tools of tyranny here in America. Tanks used for war are now being brought to our streets. Urban warfare training has increased at home, and we are being openly propagandized to thanks to last year's reform of the Smith Month Act. The lifting of the propaganda ban will now allow a vast ocean of programming by Voice of America, Radio Free Europe, and other media, which is now heard in over 100 countries, to be heard here at home as well. Talk radio is and was the original alternative media. When print was controlled, when the TV was controlled, only three channels, it was talk radio where people could call in and talk about things and so many stories would break regionally that would end up becoming you know, very important. And it was the place that could change what was happening legislatively. Government, tyrants in government have always feared talk radio. And they're doing everything they can to kill it now. And in response to a government losing the info war, NSA champion Mike Rogers will be coming to a radio station near you. Well, that's it for our news portion tonight. But right after the break, we're going to have the full report from Kit Daniels and Jakari Jackson about the Fort Hood shooting. They went to the press conference, of course, and they asked some very insightful questions. And Jakari Jackson has an interview where he talks to a graphic artist about how he's waking people up through art. That's right after the break. Stay tuned. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. How much indication do you have about premeditation here? Was, was there anything tied to the timing of it? Was there something going on in this building? Uh, I do not know, and that'll be part of the investigation. I did not say his rank nor his name, and I'll do that when his family is appropriately notified. Sir, you said he came from another installation in February. Can you tell us what that is? 
Um, at this time, uh, I prefer not. He was undergoing uh, behavioral health and psychiatric treatment uh, for depression uh, and anxiety. There are reports, uh, I don't know if he was diagnosed in the clinical sense, there are reports that he uh, self-reported uh, a, a traumatic brain injury previously coming back from the Iraq. Was he on any sort of medications? He was on medications, that's correct. Like SSRIs or antidepressants, anything of that nature? Yes. Was the uh, FBI already on the scene due to the uh, alert that they gave out about on Monday regarding a possible mass shooting? Uh, we have a uh, local FBI liaison officer, Okay. Uh, but no, large FBI you know, assets were not here. Okay. Um, uh, they are actually inbound to help with the investigation. All of the wounded and killed were military. General, the female officer who engaged him, how would you describe what she did today? So it's clearly heroic, uh, what she did uh, at that moment in time, and, and uh, she did her job, and she did exactly what we would expect of the United States Army military police. What are your thoughts on preparing concealed weapons on You're not allowed to carry concealed weapons. Do you think that should change? Um, no, I don't think the soldiers should have concealed weapons on board. We have law enforcement agents. Uh, we're trained professionals, and I, and I don't endorse carrying. How long did it take for the law enforcement to reach the scene? Uh, it was within minutes. Within minutes. Uh, exact time, probably 10 to 15, maybe. So Max. you're saying that we should have concealed weapons, but it still takes 10 to 15 minutes for law enforcement to even reach the scene? What's your comments on that? I think the law enforcement acted very rapidly uh, and swiftly, uh, given the nature of this circumstance. I understand that, but there's still people yeah, that have died. Uh, with you on carrying weapons on a military installation. I just ask for all your thoughts and prayers uh, for the fallen and for the wounded in this particular case. Thank you very much. General, General, I know it opened all ears. General. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there was a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood shooting, a potential Fort Hood situation? Uh, there's, yeah, there's no, there's no link that we know of to that particular case that we know of. We're investigating everything, but there's no particular link. I am aware of that FBI report, and there's no particular link to that that we know of. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. And welcome back. 
What's your place in the Info War? It's not all about sitting on TV in a suit or being on the radio show. You can use your own gifts and talents to inspire people around the world. And that's what our artist friend today is doing, Pizarro. Thanks for joining us, Pizarro. Hi there. All right, so I'm looking at your art, and we'll talk about your artistic style in just one second. But it's my understanding that you're not an American citizen. So what's your interest in American politics? Well, I um, spent a lot chunk of my lifetime in America, and I can tell this country is you know not like any other country. It's just sad that it's not like what it used to be. So um, you know, and it's just you know it's double sad that you know a lot of American people are not not realizing what is changing. You know, the country is just losing a lot of freedom, and you know people still asleep. So um, I just you know it, it just 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 hard for me not to not to take a step and you know pay attention to what is going on. Yeah, that's right. And you know, what I always try to tell people, whether it's people like yourself, activists, uh, other journalists I meet, is you know, you don't have to be on TV in a suit or on the radio. You can have your own artistic style. We have guys on who do comedy bits, guys who do art like you do. Whatever your gift is or whatever your interests are, that's where you should attack on and try to wake people up. Now, Pizarro, let's talk about this artistic style. You know, we were looking at it here in the studio, and it's definitely Street Fighter-esque. You know, I was a big Street Fighter fan, as many of the guys were grew up playing the game and now they have, I don't know how many games now, but just tell us uh, your artistic style and what influences you have. Well, um, I was looking for a, a way to um, turn information into something that uh, younger generations of people that, you know, fans like you guys that can easily relate to. So, I mean, obviously I'm using um, a lot of um, video games uh, references such as, you know, Street Fighter, um, you know, there's a few um, Grand Theft Auto stuff in there, so I can use that just to sort of tap into um, audiences that who might not already, um, you know, aware of what is going on. So, um, you know, so using a little bit of comedy to just kind of like draw those people into, um, you know, from not like to not interested into um, politics into like, oh, oh wow, that. That's that's funny. Who's who's this guy? Oh, wow. I it's very it's very eye catching, you know, because just like we were talking about earlier, you take something that's familiar to people, albeit, you know, obviously Street Fighter, Grand Theft Auto, some other influences as well. And people see that basically, but hold on, that's not, you know, that's not Ryu or that's not Ken. That's President Obama. What's this about? And then they can go see that he has the finishing move of the Predator drone, and it makes sense <laughs> to him. You know, they, they can understand this. It's easily uh, relatable and it's very uh, palatable. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So you know, I mean, it's, it's it's good that you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, to people that already know what is going on, that's funny to them. But to those people who's like not realizing what is going on, oh, now I can, you know, be educated about it. Exactly. And you have many people, not just Alex. You have Putin, Obama, David Icke. I saw in there Mitt Romney, uh, the guy. Uh, what's his, what's the lieutenant who was pepper spraying, Lieutenant John. You know, which, uh, yeah, I mean, and th then this guy has the, yeah, he has the, the audacity to say that, you know, he's, he needs workers comp because people made fun of him on YouTube for doing that. You got Coney, all kinds of things going on right there. So uh, let me ask you, are you a, are you a big gamer? Well, um, I used to be. I don't have as much time anymore. You yeah, know, who um, does? <laughs> I, grew, I grew up alone, so I, you know, I, I have to work a lot now, so. So is art uh, an occupation for you, or is it something that you do on the side? Uh, used to be, used to be. I mean, I grew up as an artist. I used to have uh, an art career, but um, I, I do art as, uh, as a hobby now. Great. Well, you know, hobby or not, you have great work that, you know, I can tell that you, you know, weren't a professional guy who did this for a living. Like, I was, I was thinking maybe this guy is one of the official Street Fighter artists because it's a great style, it looks great. Like I said, it's easily uh, relatable. People can understand it. So let's just talk a little bit about politics. Let's talk about uh, Bernanke. You know, people see this Grand Theft Auto, uh, New World Order. You know, what are your thoughts on uh, the quantitative easing going on in this country? Uh, just keep printing. Yeah, that's pretty much what they do. They just keep printing the money, and that's why our currency is being devalued, you know, because people don't understand that you need to have something backing your money, such as gold. But if you keep printing money for gold or whatever backing that you don't have, then your currency is worth less and less and less. So, you know, I what mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's the whole thing about the, um, you know, your, your question was like, what, what made me interested about American politics? I mean, frankly, I don't think this is American issue anymore. This is like global issue now. Oh, yeah, that's a very good point. 
Right, because like you know, I mean, with with the uh, with the QE stuff from the Fed, the UN, the IMF, I, I I mean, this is a global issue from the globalists now, and you know, I mean, pe these people here play like they are gods now. Yeah, they think they are. Uh, they they definitely think they are. They think they can do whatever they.